going to analyze the different type of proportion systems and uh, what is uh, more efficient and uh, why uh, this system is preferred for some people and uh, what is the advantage of this over the other one, we are going to analyze the different type of proportion system. In other words, the gasoline engine in board, the marine engine, is an automotive engine. And uh, this is the transmission, and uh, this is the chaff, uh, and this is the propeller. Right? This is the situation. That's the situation that we have in this particular engine. For that reason, in marine applications, we are going to study the propulsion systems according uh, with the location of the transmission. Oh, the transmission in this type of propulsion system is located inside or outside. Yes, we are going to analyze where is located the engine and the transmission, and according with that, those are the most common types of propulsion system. The first one, the first one, the top one is the, the direct drive is direct drive or inline. Yeah, the other name for that system is inline, direct or inline. Because the engine, the transmission, and the chaff are located in the same line. Direct drive, inline. The, the second system is a V-drive transmission system. This is a perfect example of our inline, the input, the input shaft is here and the output shaft is over there. This is the input and this is the output. If you see, it's in a perfect line. It's completely aligned. Yeah, it's completely aligned the input with the output. And the other one is a V configuration. Uh, this is the input shaft and this is the output shaft. Ah, in this one is better. This is the input shaft and this is the output shaft. For that reason, they say that it's a V. It's a V configuration because it's a perfect, perfect V. Perfect drive, uh, uh, Danny. Yeah, this is the surf tie. There's the boot to protect the U-joints. Correct. The water getting in there. One actuator here yeah. and other actuator lateral. Right. Between this and this. That way you can steer it and go up and down. And, and up, up and down, correct. Uh, the advantage of that system is that uh, those propellers are working on a uh, Ventilation, no ventilation. cavitation. Yep, ventilation. Because probably half of the surface of the propeller is out of the water. Today we are with the Steven Murray, the owner of a big hydraulic company dedicated to marine services, hydraulic services. Martin, how are you? I'm good today, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for this interview. Uh, today we are in front of a surface drive system. Yep. This is an ASD 15. ASD 15. Uh, is, is uh, too much pressure uh, on those ramps? The max operating pressure that these can take these cylinders is about five to 6,000 PSI. The operating pressure is between 1,200 and 2,200, or, or 2,200 PSI, depending on Each the one. demand. In this particular case, this ram is for trim, sure. but uh, you have the other the other rams for, uh, for steering, yes. no? Uh, those rams uh, use uh, 1,000 psi around. Those use the operating pressure is the same as this. They operate between 1,200 and 2,200 psi. The max operating pressure is about 6,000 psi. Again, the water entered at high pressure over there. This impeller compressed the water, and in this in this funnel, the pressure is uh, is reduced dramatically, and the speed of the water is high speed producing a reaction on the boat and the boat is going in the opposite direction at high speed. With this reversing bucket, when the bucket is going down, uh, you reverse uh, you reverse uh, that, that bucket. You see that bucket when the when the bucket is going down here, you you change the direction of the fluid and uh, the boat is moving in reverse or depending how you move that nozzle, the, the, you steer the boat in a different direction. Uh, yes, this is the typical this is the typical unit, and uh, the engine is located here. The gas or diesel engine is located over there, or electric motor. You can use that system in different different options with gas engine, with diesel engine, or with the electric motor. 